Hey guys and welcome to my channel and to this video. This is the second one from my three sea creatures painting and today I'm painting a jellyfish. As for the first one I did do my sketch earlier. It is available for download from my website so there is a link down in the description box. You can go ahead check it out, download it for yourself, trace it and join in. Also today I will be using Arsh watercolor paper. It is 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 26 by 36 centimeters and I have divided it into two parts. For this painting I will be using first same color as I did for the previous one. I'm mixing Pretty Pink from Etcher, Violet from my palette of colors and also Brown from my colors for the first pink, beautiful pink. Then mixing in some Ultramarine and Turquoise to get this beautiful rich blue color. I will also be using some black for some darker shadows. And this is the color palette I will be using for this painting. I'm starting off with some flowers. I did not prevent the paper, but I'm just painting in the flowers. And also I do wanted to tell you that that sketch is going to be a guideline for you. I'm painting those flowers that look like little bells. So I'm not really trying to paint them precisely and every single petal, every single flower to its details. I'm just using the sketch to be my guideline to paint in those flowers, to paint the impression of flowers, the notion of flowers. So just with a lighter wash, I'm adding in the paint and then tapping in with the tip of my brush, a little bit of the darker paints, but I think there would be some shadows or darker parts of the flowers. So also if these flowers are a little bit different, Difficult for you and you don't want to paint those you can definitely paint any flowers you like you can paint simple roses also there are a few simple painting tutorials for the flowers on my channel maybe you can find one of those flowers and paint it here instead of the ones that I am painting don't be bothered with precision. Don't try to paint every single detail on those flowers. We just need the impression of flowers and I and the brain will do everything else. So just tapping in the darker paints, but I think the shadows would be and just to make that the shape of the flowers. Now the darkest parts of the flowers will just give the definite impression and be the thing that will make all the difference. Now just tapping in a little bit of sprinkles with the same blue color and as it's drying I'm just looking where I want to add a little bit more of the pigment. Afterwards, when my flowers dried completely, I moved on to painting a jellyfish and I did prevent the part where the body of the jellyfish is, that squishy part. And then again with the same colors, I'm just outlining the shape of my jellyfish. And then with this beautiful pink, I'm just tapping in color on a few places. And again, not trying to be anything particularly precise. This is a loose painting, so we just need the impressions. And just adding a little bit more of the paint, topping in some sprinkles with that beautiful pink. And now I do want to paint that part that goes from the head of the jellyfish downwards, that also see-through transparent part, and it looks like a swirl. So I'm just doing the swirls with my brush. You will see later on, I'll be adding a little bit more of the paint to make it look like there are some swirls. Also topping in some pink and adding a little bit more of the pigment where I see fit. So as I was saying earlier, some of the swirls, some of those C-shaped patterns, so to make it look like a swirl. We can see only one side and the other side is covered. With a little bit of the black, I'm just painting in beneath the flowers, just adding one more color to make it a little bit more interesting. I will be adding a lot more of the pigment to the jellyfish, again that blue and the pink. 
And now with this detail brush, I'm adding in those tails, those, well, I don't know what they, what they are called. Those lines that go from the jellyfish and float beautifully in the water. So just with the tip of my brush, somewhere I'm painting them a little bit thicker, somewhere a little bit thinner and painting all of them. Just follow the lines that I drew on my sketch. Now outlining a little bit more, it, it is dry completely. I left it to dry completely. And then again, adding a little bit more of those swirls to make it even more visible and then smudging it slightly with my brush and just some clean water. Again, some splatters with blue because you know, you can never have too much splatters. And now with some white gouache, I'm adding it just above those swirls that I did, adding a little bit of the white gouache to emphasize those swirls and to make them even more visible and stand out. A couple of splatters with white gouache, gouache. I will also add a few splatters with pink and that's basically it. I'm done and well, it wasn't that difficult at all, you can see. And now only thing that remains is to remove the tape. I hope you guys like this video and if you do, please hit the like button, share it and comment. If you haven't still, please do subscribe to my channel. That will mean a lot to me. Third one in this series coming up and for the first one, there is a link down in the description box. You can go ahead and check that one out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.